Um, yeah, it, it is often diagnosed at an ophthalmologist's office because people that are getting eye exams, they're looking at their optic disc and saying, whoa, your optic discs are blurred. Wait a minute, what's going on? Are you having headaches? And then they're like, okay, you have blurred optic disc. This goes with IIH. And so this is what we suspect. Then they get referred to a neurologist that do, does an LP. They find the opening pressures over 250 and they say, okay, this is now diagnostic and consistent, right? But if you have the symptomatology that says you're having frequent pulsatile headaches, if that headache, uh, to the point of the physician that is in Africa, if you start that person on a trial diamox and it helps, then we know that you have IIH, right? Because why else would you be relieved with decreased intracranial pressure? So then you have to think about the population of people that actually go to an ophthalmologist. You know, people that go to ophthalmologists are already having issues with visual acuity. That's why they're going to the eye doctor. They're having issues with visual acuity and then they're linking that visual acuity to IIH. 